dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are that of imagination. That's the signpost up ahead. Your next stop, the Twilight Zone. Picture, if you will, an automobile which defies logic and may seem to have a mind of its own. Is your car acting like it just entered the twilight zone? If your car has some really strange electrical symptoms, it's probably entered the faulty alternator zone. The alternator in your car uses the fan belt to generate electricity. And in a modern day car, almost everything runs by electricity, cruise control, ignition system, fuel injection system, anti-lock brakes. When there's a problem in the electrical systems, your car can do weird stuff. Let's take a look at a modern day alternator. Alternators are called alternators because they generate alternating electricity, AC. But picture this, if you will. Cars running on direct current with 12 volt DC batteries. Exactly, and here's how an alternator takes care of that problem. I'll take this alternator apart and show you how it works. Inside the alternator are diodes, and the little electric diodes turn the alternating current into direct current. Now when they get old, the diodes will often start to short out electrically, and they stop working. And once the diodes do go bad, you can get ripples of alternating electricity going through your direct current system. It can do all kinds of haywire things. There's a real simple test you can do on the car. Hook it up to the battery. Any good mechanic will have a machine like this. Check the charging system. Turn the car on, and this whole test takes about a minute and a half. In this case, it's OK. There's no fault in the alternator ripple. Now, if your alternator was bad, they're easy to change. They usually only have one, two bolts holding them in. But here's a mechanic's tip. Whenever you're removing electrical components of a car, take off the negative battery terminal first. Then there's no electricity running through your car, so you can't short anything out. If you don't, when you change the alternator, if you touch a wire to the frame, you could fry the computer. Okay. So if you don't know what's making your car go crazy. I don't know what it is. I, I just don't know. You might get your alternator checked out. This is Scotty Kilmer in the Crank It Up Zone. And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit my website, scottykilmer.com.